and two of them. Yep, that, uh, that works. Guaranteed. Where is my recipe? There it is. Hello. Hello, recipe. Thank you so very much for existing. This will give me a little tiny bit of iron oxide. Congratulations. I need one, two, three. One is the iron oxide. One is the gravel. And the third one is the crushed quartz. Because obviously we're going to get quartz out of sand. It's just going to end up being voided in the end. Most like Oh, speaking of voiding. <laughs> yeah, I could uh I could do that. That requires me to overproduce on the uh biomass a little bit. Not by too much though. Anyway, uh, so that's that for now. That, oh, come on, push the close. There you go. So I've done that, that, and that just needs the logistics on the, the thingies. Next would be the beautiful and glorious methane uh, for the ethylene, because like most of this is for the ethylene. Uh, four moondrop greenhouses. Four whole moondrops. One, two, three, four. Uh, making the wonderful and beautiful stuff and things. Uh, not doing the CO2 recipe. That sounds like a terrible idea. Right. Uh, I I hate I hate I hate the fluid boxes on these. Uh, I, I I really dislike the fluid boxes. You can never keep them next to each other directly. They can they can never touch each other just because of the uh, fluid boxes. You there. Um, yeah, I can grab. I can grab Moondrop. I have a few of those. I have a, a few Moondrops hanging out. Uh, that is at least 40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's at least 40. Get rid of the trees. All trees must die. Do I have any extra termite ammo? I do. I have a whole stack of extra termite ammo. Good. This is great. Oh, all these trees. Yes, please. Please die. Please go away. Even though I don't plan on building on that side of the tracks. For now. Maybe. Maybe at some point I'll build on that side of the tracks, but not today. This is not the day that that side of the tracks gets built on. Yes, 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 stuff things. Thank you for telling me that my inventory is full. That is very, very good information. So, uh, a few. <laughs> we have a few moon drops. Uh, I also need the one singular botanical nursery uh, to keep this going. Producing the seeds from the moon drop. Yay! Now, the key here. that I always despise is that this produces Moondrop as well. 
So you always have to filter your output from this. So the moon drop needs to come out and then go back in. And it would be best to input priority the thing so that once it's moving and it produces some amounts of moon drop, which always will produce at least two moon drop, uh, as well as the seeds, then I have to output the actual, you know, the seeds. Let's do that there, by the way. In fact, let's let's move this over so I can do that. And then if I need this again, I need to do the same thing over here. Because uh, you consume seeds, not actual moon drop. Feed me moon drop. Seeds. All right. That. Can I? Nope. Of course I can't reach all the way across there. Gee, wouldn't it be better if that was placed there instead? Yes. Yes, it would. Alright, that's the... methane. So that's done. Uh, as well as the seeds if i have that placed yep that's that's that check marked slowly but surely doing all the check marks next is the gasifier mark ii the singular singular glass glassifier no gasifier mark ii i don't know what the spacing i want on this is it is making ethylene it needs a singular pump. It needs more than a singular pump. It needs three singular pumps. Three, though. Why three? Each one produces... Ah, that's why. It's barely using the third. It it barely uses the third. Also, yeah, just do it like that. That's, that's like much better on space. It is precisely one extra tile down, but because I have that anyway... Oh, right, I have... Uh, I have a thing that causes voiding to happen. I would rather have you there. Yes, how much water do you somehow output? 34? Yeah, that's... No, not that number. What What number? That. 10.42. Yay! Woohoo! 10.42. Oh, that's convenient. Hey, we stretched right across of for the methane. And that is that. Ethylene! Congrats, you're alive. You live. Uh, just add iron oxide to you. And we're good. Ta-da! Iron oxide. Next. Next is the coal water slurry fuel from three fluid separators. Taking in tailings and producing coal water slurry and a little bit of water. Just uh, a little bit. That's two. Two of these in total 
Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go up and I'll grab that. Be like, just doink those, doink those. Et voila, there we go. Oh, right. This away. Going down. I was about to say, if that reaches all the way, that'd be like, what? All right. Cold water slurry. Very, very simple. Five destructive distillation columns of Mark II. Uh, can we just appreciate how few buildings this actually has been on each of these lines? Like, can, can we appreciate just... It's a lot of lines, but each of the lines is very, very reasonable on the actual building count of all these lines until we get to SAP as well as the actual AUGs, the AUG paddocks. We will need more SAP extractors than actual AUG paddocks in terms of just the sheer building count. And I'm pretty sure that the power... Most of the power of this build comes from those sap extractors. This is a 188.8 megawatt build. And 87.2 comes from just sap. So, yeah, we're talking just slightly over 100 megawatts for everything else. But we get plus 87.2 from the sap. Yeah see about that. What else is consuming ungodly amounts of power from this? Like, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything in particular that's excessive besides what should be the one at the end. Yeah, the AUGs itself is 43.9. The rest is just Addition, simple addition, just it just adds up over time to be 100. I mean, I guess the soil extracting is a little high overall, but eh. It's fine. It is just fine, actually, because if I look at my power... Yeah, I have like 3 gigawatts, 2 gigawatts, three gigawatts, something like, something like that, two or three <laughs> of of total. It's not four. It's it's not four. It's like at least it's two something. I forget. I forget actually exactly what the cap is. A bit. It's a bit. Just a little bit. Uh, this is not the final step yet. This is the step that gives me the benzene and aromatics from coal water slurry fuel. Uh, you're kidding me. All right. So, logistics. Oh boy. Um why do these have to be at right angles to each other? Why why do these have to be at right angles to each other? So this build needs to be separated by one tile as well, and everything needs to be rotated. Why does everything need to be rotated? Because I would rather have the benzene on the output uh, in the line here. Just personal preference, really. Uh, because I'm going to be voiding uh, the aromatics outputs. And I always forget which building it is on the aromatics to void the aromatics. 
This is a thing I just never seem to be able to remember properly. Sure, why not? So, liquid or gas? You tell me. <laughs> is it is it the sinkhole or is it the flare stack? I think it's the sinkhole. I'm pretty sure it's the sinkhole. Let me look at my aromatics here. It is the sinkhole. Which makes it a fluid, by the way. It's fluidic. It's aqueous aromatics, okay? They're they're in water. Totally. That's a thing. Uh I've done that. I've done that. And 87.5. That is one, technically. Uh, but I guess I'll have to just in case. I at least I think it's one. I've I have received conflicting reports at times. A lot of people say it's 80 each now. I'm pretty sure it's actually 90, but... Eh. No matter. Won't matter. Because I'll have two anyway. Alright, that's the benzene. That is the ethylene. That just leaves. I closed the... Pin, darn it. That just leaves the one DDC at the end of this whole process making plastic. Gee, if only this were a plastic factory. If only I was just doing a plastic factory. This would be this would be fantastic. Maybe I should do a plastic factory. You know, maybe I should just take this and scale it. A whole bunch of times. That's perfectly reasonable, right? Just do, just copy that. A f just copy that a few times. All, all of that a few times. Make a dedicated plastic factory. And then put it onto the network and just not even have this train station here. <laughs> build somewhere else. Nah, I'm 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 leaving this build as it is. This is this is part of our meat factory. I'm sure at some point I will need a dedicated uh, doohickey. Though, all oh, right, steam, steam. Yeah, that that's required as well. Fair amount. Oh, right. One of these can do, like, a lot of plastic if I had the actual uh, production. I need 3.13, right? I need 15.63. Why do I have 5? Wait, what? Wait. What? This is off. <laughs> this is significantly more than I need. What? Is it trying to do here? It's trying to consume all of the tailings. That's what it's doing. Yeah, that's that's what it's doing. Is it's it's consuming all of the tailings. Because it's it's giving me the 29.17 sand that I need out of this process. Like obviously that I do need that amount of the sand. But I then I'll have the tailings, and there's no way to void 
the access tailings. Uh, specifically because I have, the, I think it's because I have the matrix solver on. Do I even need it on? I, yes, I do need it on for the uh, seed loop and the, the moon drops, they feed back. At least they should feed back, yeah. It, that's because the matrix solver exists. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a way around this conundrum currently. I would have to separate out the uh, benzene from this. I mean, it's good to know that three fluid separators are making, are using all of the tailings that are being made out of this. So, effectively, what I could do is actually just void the excess benzene. Benzene has a fuel value of one megajoule, though. Benzene has a fuel value of one megajoule, though. Oh, steam! Uh, please, uh, Helmod, can I actually convert you to that? Uh, and have a look at benzene? How much benzene gets... Yeah! Yeah, that's a much better plan. For the, uh, for the steam. That is a much better plan for the steam. I'm going to leave this actually as the the boilers consuming biomass uh, just because it's going to give me this little bit of extra biomass in the calculations uh, that instead of actually using for the boilers is going to be used for the voiding lines uh, for the for the burners uh, that I need to get rid of the uh, excess gravel and crushed quartz so getting rid of these two through burning uh, and it should actually be more than enough more than uh, sufficient amounts of the biomass uh, and i will still i will still need to get rid of excess uh benzene uh, in the end because i actually this built enough to process all the tailings uh, i just need to have the building on me uh not that button not that button this button yeah i'll need the oil burners uh, i'm pretty sure i'm not carrying around oil burners unfortunately uh that is one of the things that i don't carry around at all times uh, i'm going back up here just to drop off those excess things All right. Uh, so I'll just continue on from here. I'll do my little tick marks on this as we autosave. I'm not actually quite done yet with uh, this guy because it does need the solid input. Apparently not there. Uh, it does need the solid input. It needs the pipe inputs wow wow i i dislike you greatly like really i really really dislike you with it with these pipes. The pipe will be from below, most likely. Uh, with the benzene going like from here to whatever building. Yup. That will be that. 
Uh, this will be the boiler oil burner. Uh, so that's now done. Ish, just need to do the logistics. I need to like do all of the logistics belt work on stuff, but anyway. Moving along. That is all that taken care of. What is going to be next? What shall we do next? I think what's next depends on what's been built thus far, actually. Uh... So, moss, seaweed, phalagi. We have the plastic. Shall I do the moss? I think I shall do the moss next. Uh, which means I need the biomass. So the next is the biomass. Is the very next thing. I need to pick up more stuff, I think. Because I think I'm not carrying around sufficient compost plants for this. And if I'm going to go back to the mall right up here, I may as well grab the stuff I need. The other stuff I need. The, uh, the oil burners. I need like three three or four four actually because oddly enough this the number of the buildings doesn't count they produce the exact same amount of stuffs all right hello mall i have a i have a few units of stone i have a few stacks of those to uh get rid of please uh please take away all that stone and bring me all of the things The swarm is swarming me. Yeah, I have, a, I have a few units of stone that I was carrying around. All right, so the oil burners are where? Here, grab a stack of that. Oh, right. I am, I am requesting meat. Let's no longer request the meat until I start producing it consistently. Uh, yeah, mark two of you. I'm going to stick that there, grab some of that, stick that in there, uh, and we should be good on those. I have the soil extractors... I need to clear some inventory. Man, it's as much as I like having that, I need to get rid of it. Now, I like having the request for the circuit twos because it allows me to do things like this to make more of stuff that I need more of. Uh, I just, I know that I need a lot of these. I need a lot more of these. And they are circuit twos, and the tech is very much limited by my circuit two. Uh, production right now because I can guarantee that we are blue science limited right now. I have how much pie science? I have 9,600 units of pie science in this particular chest. That is the entire chest full of pie science. So that tells me that the actual building here that produces pie science also has pie science packs in the provider chest 3.1k that is not full so this will still keep operating which means i'm not quite backing up on the stuff yet for this what 
is it that you are choked on, actually? It's just the number of uh, neuroprocessors. Yeah, that's that's what it is. It's just the number of the neuroprocessors, which is the ones that I, you know, sort of want to be making more of. I want to have a backlog of those. All right, where did I park? Right there. Uh, here, have those. As I go grab more of those. Beautiful, glorious sap extractors. Alright, take those. I'll keep a couple stacks on me. Actually, I can get rid of that now. And... What else? The classifiers, the fluid separators. Why do I have Mark 1 advanced foundry when I should have Mark 2? I don't know. Or by now, I should be making Mark 2s. That's so how I should put word that. I think I'm good. Yeah, I got those. Let's make sure I have some in the vehicle as well for next time. Oh wow, I'm actually carrying around some of the Mark II slaughterhouses. So I actually have a few of those uh, stored currently. Good to know. Uh, what about... I have the washers, I have the high pressure, I have automated factories, actually. Uh, sand extractors. I should grab a stack of those. And the moss farms. Yeah. So sand extractors and the actual moss farms. Sand extractors are here. And then the moss farms right there. All right, we're good for now. Also, I did that thing. So make sure all the stuff's tick marked. Uh, do I have the 20 seaweed farms? Seaweed, I have 12. Here, let me... Clear out some of that and pick up an, an additional stack of those. Those glorious, beautiful things. Uh, for the exception that you're going to move all of your stuff into that. A and you, you two, you're going you're gonna to stick all your Mark II circuits. Yeah. Just a, a reallocation of resources, I think, is uh, pretty required right now. Just shove all of those in there. Just, you know, several stacks. I need lots of these. Lots and lots. Wow, that wasn't full yet. Interesting. This is why I dislike doing a whole bunch of machines at the same time, doing upgraded buildings. It's because it just allocates so many resources, and it's like, oh, I now have a whole bunch of Circuit 2s just sitting and doing absolutely nothing. Forever. Thus, that's the inherent problem with the logistics system, I think, is, you know, it just... The, re the requester chests are nice, but what happens when the thingy is full at the end? Like, well, what do you do at that point? You're gonna have stuff sitting forever 
instead of actually being put to use. Now, I, I think there are creative ways around that. But, uh... Nothing I'm willing to do <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's like, I wish that I could, like, circuit condition a requester chest to act as a provider chest if some condition is met. Like a conditional... Just, like, a conditional chest would be good. Something that I can default to request, and then circuit condition supply. That would be... that would be great, actually. Thank you.